As we gather to celebrate, we are surrounded and accompanied by all of the people who made it possible. Harrison Brian Burton. Congratulations, class of 2019. You made it. I made it. It's close, dude. It's close. So now you have to do your ceremony tomorrow. Yeah. And then you are officially done with all of your high school duties for the rest of your life. Done so. I'm more excited about racing than anything. More important stuff to do. Yeah, I had to go take pictures for my high school graduation. Oh, really? So I literally bailed out of that in the middle of them taking pictures and came here. What are you graduating? Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, okay, dude. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> I've always been kind of labeled as Jeff Burton's son. Um, it is a little hard being someone's son that was in the sport, but. I mean, we ran the same numbers in late models and stuff like that, so I didn't do too good of a job of trying to <laughs> get away from you, but. Those are all pictures of me. <laughs> wow, none of us were around, man. This is a long time ago. I'm very aware of you know your stats and the numbers, but when you start seeing pictures behind it, it becomes a lot more real. It's cool for me to to know that I come from racing heritage, and that makes me, you know, kind of proud of of what you guys did back then. I think a lot of people just assume that because I raced that I pushed you into racing. The truth of the matter is it didn't happen like that at all. You were pushing us. I remember being really young and being like, oh, I want to race so bad. And, and y'all wouldn't let me for a little bit. And I was like mad about it. I was like, well, I don't want to play soccer. I want to drive race cars. And how about Harrison Burton? He started the year off with a win at Daytona. He's going to race here tonight. He's going to graduate high school tomorrow. So when I watch you drive, it reminds me of how I drove. You drive with your head more than just your right foot. Harrison Burton getting a nice jump. Most of the time, that's when I run the best, is when I feel like I'm more calculated and stuff instead of just trying to make something happen and, and drive into the edge and control the whole race. You got several Xfinity races. The majority of those are the time of the season that I broadcast. The hard thing is going to be that I can't just watch you. What I want to have happen is, you know, when someone wins a stage and you guys do like, hey, Jeff Burton up here in the NBC Sports booth. Yep. I want you to talk to me and I'll just be like, what up, old man? That's a battle for the third spot. The graduate tomorrow, Harrison Burton, holds that position, but the 54 of Gray is all over him. Come on, get by Majeski now in command. Off turn four into the trioval. Charlotte has produced a first time ARCA winner. Harrison Burton was back there as well. Great job by the youngster, though. You know, I'm, I'm excited about what's ahead of you and your opportunities that you have, and uh, knowing it's not going to be easy. The, the sport that Harrison picked, the livelihood that he wants to make in racing, it's hard. You know, I think people look and they say, well, you know, he's a race car driver and he made a lot of money, and they have no idea how hard you have to work and how much you're gone, and the work ethic has to be exceptionally high. Our sport's really tough and it takes a certain type to excel at it. I hope that the future continues to be that way and I want to be a part of it if it is.